In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to turn your old stove into a Bunsen burner that can actually be used for melting glass to make vacuum tubes and stuff. Tanner, tech, Tanner, tech, Tanner, Tanner, tech, Tanner, tech, Tanner. Hello, this is Tanner Tech. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to turn your stove into a Bunsen burner if you don't have one. And you can do this for almost nothing. So, let's get started. All you're going to need is a gasoline stove and a tin soup can. Now this can be a soup can of any size, I'm just choosing to use this large chili can. Now what you do is you open up the grate on your stove and you remove the actual burner. And so you'll have this little circle with nothing around it. A close look inside the circle, we see that there is a tiny little uh, piece right here where the gas comes out of. And around it is an empty space which the air can flow to mix with the methane gas from the gas lines to form a flame. Now what we're going to need to do is make something that allows us to direct the flame upwards. Now if I were to turn on this stove and light it as is, on medium, you can see that it makes a flame that actually works. It's pretty tall and it works. But this flame is not concentrated and this flame uh, needs to be hotter and for that we're going to take this soup can and make a guide for this flame so that way we can uh, Make it more concentrated so we can melt the glass now I got this little tin can from my recycling bin and I think it used to have chili inside it or something So it's already missing one end so now we're just going to have to remove the other end So we have a cylinder now I'm going to do this using a can opener by just cutting out the top lid and then after we do that, we'll cut the actual soup can in half. Now after you've gotten your piece of tin can into a hollow circle, you can take a pair of tin snips and simply cut it in half along the edge. So you have a sort of uh, circle that can be bent outwards and reshaped into a new circle. Now after you've cut your chili can into a circle, you can start to bend it into a smaller circle. Now this may take a little bit of effort to do. Now after you get your uh, tin can all coiled up inside a little circle that's about maybe an inch in diameter, you can now set it on your stove. Now this will need to be above the actual level of your stove because there needs to be a small space in the bottom where the air is able to go inside and rise at the flame so that way the flame is able to burn more air and burn more efficiently so that way it can be hotter. So in order to lift this um, thing above the stove, this guide for the fire, I'm going to be using my helping hands. People who do electronics will have one of these pairs of helping hands sitting on their desk. And what I did is I just used the clip on it to clip onto the guide for the fire, so that way it could be lifted above the stove. And now that your um, entire Bunsen burner is set, you can turn the stove and make sure to turn it to low. Light your fire a little bit underneath, and turn it up a little, and you should see a little flame growing on top. This flame can be better seen over when it is slightly dark inside the room. As you can see, I can easily adjust the height of the fire by adjusting the gas amount flowing into the stove. I can easily make the fire extremely tall. So as you can see, this little Bunsen burner setup works extremely well, especially for just using your stove as the actual Bunsen burner. Well, now that your Bunsen burner works, you can use it to make some vacuum tubes, or use it to heat up glass, or anything else that you need to use a Bunsen burner for. In my next video, I'm going to be showing you how to use a Bunsen burner to actually take one of these test tubes and make a cathode ray tube. As you can see, it works extremely well in heating up this glass to its melting point. So as always, thanks for watching, 
and stay tuned for my next video where I'll either be showing you how to fix that microwave or take a test tube and make it into a cathode ray tube such as this one.